Okay, there we go. We're doing enlargement, yeah, a type of transformation. And now the skill factor is going to be negative two. So I started by showing you enlargements with, let's say, an ordinary skill factor of two, yeah? And you have a center of enlargement, and then you just yeah, multiply that distance by two every time, yeah? And then your figure becomes twice as big as you like, yeah? But the shape doesn't only change, also the position. And then I showed you, yeah, what if the skill factor is a decimal, yeah, or a fraction? So between zero and one, so for 0 0.5, for instance, we notice that it becomes smaller. And again, also the position, because of that center of enlargement, uh, will change. Yeah? And now finally, I promise you, well, what happens if I have a negative skill factor? And really, nothing to worry about, yeah? as with everything in math, as long as you understand what you're doing. Let's say this point. Yeah? The distance to the center of rotation is three units. Yeah? One, two, three. Normally, if the skill factor would be 2, I would make that distance now 6 of those blocks. But because the skill factor is negative 2, yes, I make the distance 6, but to the other side. Yeah? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to be all the way over there. So again, with a positive skill factor of 2, I'll just go back to this question, if the distance is 2, then the distance times 2 is going to be 4. That's my new point. That's the position. Yeah? If the distance was 4, point B times 2 is going to be 8 all the way over there. With a negative scale factor of 2, again, the distance becomes twice as far, however, to the other side of your center of rotation. Okay? So it's going to be over there. So if that was point A, that will be A apostrophe. Okay, let's do the same here for point B. So it is, or C, yeah, let me do C first, okay? Uh, I think that's gonna be easier. It is one, two, three, one, two. So now it's going to be six, four, but to the other side of the center of enlargement because of the negative. So again, one, two, three, one, two. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, over there, C apostrophe. And point B, one, one, two, is going to be two, one, two, three, four, over there. So a negative enlargement, uh, with a neg oh, sorry, I should say with a negative skill factor with enlargement, you just go to the other side of the center of enlargement, uh, but twice as big in this case. Okay, there we go. It's going to be the triangle C apostrophe. Please don't confuse that with that particular vertex. Okay, and as you can see with these types of transformations, the object changes position and shape yeah, for enlargement. Okay, so the position uh, changed and the shape also changed. Yeah? It became uh, bigger, if you like. Okay, uh, I have another one for you where we're going to have a look at how we can find a center of enlargement if we have those two images already. Okay, I'll see you there.